right, here we go. E King's fight news, man. Dillian White. Could he potentially leave Eddie Hearn and sign with the PBC? Oddly enough, he's been rolling around in Vegas, likely for Adrian Bronner, Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, he's been talking it up with American media. And I'm sure there's a lot of interest for a Deontay Wilder or a Luis Ortiz fight. It, it would be a natural, that would be a very natural uh, two fight option if he were to sign with the PBC. But you know, it's he can't fight news and we got more on this. All right. So hey, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Dillian White, Dillian, the other heavyweight Eddie Hearn has, almost like this unwanted fucking stepchild that, you know, slowly but surely is improving every time out. I mean, he hasn't beaten, you know, that A-class level name yet, but... He's in, right now he's in line for an AJ fight. The problem is, as I've been saying, I'm not sure the zone has an interest in seeing Joshua versus White. And it's totally, it, it, it's, it's screwing Dillian White over because now he's got to deal with low balls from Eddie Hearn. Right? And Eddie, Eddie's the one that's really managing these offers. Right? He's the one man, like, sure, Anthony Joshua has some kind of say in that. And I think a lot of people don't give Anthony Joshua enough criticism for the for some of these low ball offers as well. I mean, he's, if it were up to AJ, Wilder would take a flat fee. Wilder would be forced to take a flat fee. If it were up to Anthony Joshua. Right? I mean, I, I got it. I got that audio out of his own words. So it is what it is. So don't, don't tell me about Eddie wants to offer 60-40. Because, you know, AJ really ain't talking like that. that that's the other part. That, that's the other part of the equation. Not once has AJ wanted to do a percentage deal with Deontay Wilder. So if that's the case, is, is he really going to break bread with Dillian White? I mean, at the end of the day, I want to see AJ in a fucking fight, man. I want to see this guy in a real fucking fight. I know Dillian White can, 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 can really test him once again. I'm sure he can. And if I'm wrong about that, you know, if AJ sparks out Dillian White in like three or four rounds, I would be like, oh my goodness. I, I would give him a ton of credit. And I know he already knocked him out. But I, 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 tru I truly believe Dillian White isn't the same fighter he was fucking four or five years ago when, when that shit went down. He's not the same fighter. If you look at these two guys, you know, one from 2015, whatever that fight happened, one right now, 2019, it's two, di two completely different physiques, two completely different fighters. Style-wise, similar, but, but Dillian White has gotten sharper. Um... His jab is, is very much improved. You know, we saw it against Lucas Brown. We saw it against uh, Derek Chisora. Uh His left hook is still wicked. And he's, he's got a good right hand behind that shit. So, Dillian White's all around, he's an all-around good fighter. Right? 
I wouldn't say there's anything he does that's spectacular, but he's an all-round good fighter. And he's got a ton of heart. AJ's heart's been tested, but it's been quite some time before, uh, since the last time we see AJ really in deep waters with someone that's gonna push the envelope and, and, and put that pressure on him. And if that's what AJ wants, he should take that Dillian White fight. Um, send, send Dillian, you know, an extra three mil and make that shit happen, man. I thought that shit was pennies for you guys, man. What happened to that? But you know the funny part about it? The funny thing is, Dillian White's out here getting lowball. When he was the guy that Eddie Hearn claimed to be the front runner. Now Dillian White's getting lowball. So could it be trouble in paradise? Matchroom sport, could it be trouble there? It's hard to say. Um, ultimately, I think Dillian White, um, with you know whatever improvement to the offer needs to happen, um, if he doesn't accept the fight to, to fight Anthony Joshua, if he doesn't accept it, because my understanding is he's, he's getting a better offer as I speak. He should be getting a better offer for the Wembley fight. If he doesn't accept that, Jarrell Miller might take that same deal to fight in the U.S. So um, we'll have to see how it all plays out. A lot of people are talking about Dillian White going to the PBC. Um, if that were to happen, he needs to fight Luis Ortiz. That's a guy who he has not been in a rush to fight, right? I've been saying it, Dillian White ducking Luis Ortiz has been a theme on this channel. And if he were to step up and make that fight happen, I would have to give him a ton of credit for doing so. So let me know what you guys think, E-King Fight News. I personally don't believe he's going to sign with PBC, but if he keeps getting these low balls, he might be very, very tempted. For now, I see King Fight News, and we're out. Peace. <clears throat> and on top of that, you know, Dillian, the guy Dillian White, he just he just doesn't seem that kind of like I don't know, I don't know if Al Heyman can can front the bread for uh for maybe a price that Dillian White wants because because he's making pay-per-view money over in the UK. That's the other aspect of it. I mean, Luis Ortiz, he might be, if he's lucky, he's making 500K to a million per fight. Most likely he's taking the 500K on record. Maybe he's getting a bonus of you know, 150, 200K. So Luis Ortiz probably clears six to 700. Gross, right? Dillian White has made millions in his past two fights. Right? Sky box office with uh, Joseph Parker. And Sky, pa Sky box office pay-per-view with Derek Chisora. So he's coming off pay-per-view victories. Right? So can the PBC afford a guy that's not a draw in the, in the U.S.? That's the ultimate question. So I, I, don't, I don't see, I really don't see that happening. I, I don't know where this rumor started, but I just don't see it happening. J just looking at the money side, I don't see it happening. So those are just my thoughts, E-King Fight News. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. And we're out.